Meanwhile, HMS Bulwark's been involved in an exercise to test the security arrangements for the Olympic sailing events off Weymouth and Portland. Dorset is the largest Olympic and Paralympic venue outside London and hosts the only other full-time Olympic village. Security for the event is led by Dorset Police, but as Tim Cooper reports, has a significant Royal Navy presence. In the air and at sea, the Royal Navy demonstrates how it will assist civilian agencies deter and, if necessary, protect Olympians and spectators at this summer's sailing and windsurfing events. 50 square miles of sea in front of this former naval base will need to be overseen. The area won't be on lockdown. Rather, the security will be based around monitoring and assessing any threat. At a press briefing, it was pointed out that Dorset police are at the spearhead of security, but that the Royal Navy's unique abilities will prove invaluable in this seaborne security mission. What we bring are those niche capabilities that the police don't necessarily have or they don't have sufficient of. So within the craft, we're providing coxswains, the drivers, for some of the police craft because they don't have enough and it would be um, inefficient to, to train them. In other areas, we're bringing capabilities that they lack completely. HMS Bulwark herself will become what's known as a bronze command platform with police, council and other civilian officials working on board alongside the ship's company, receiving information and deploying assets as necessary. At sea, ribs, jet skis and launches will feature combined Navy, Royal Marine and police crews. Today's exercises have put to the test a year of planning and preparation. Vital because those in charge believe there is a real threat to deal with. I think there's quite a significant risk of uh, people attempting to disrupt the games, for example, and less of a risk in terms of you know, a high-end attack. But nonetheless, everyone would expect us to have thought that through, to have planned and exercised and prepared for it, uh, and to be on the front foot to attend to it if it becomes necessary. After this exercise, HMS Bulwark and other assets like this P-2000 patrol craft will return to Weymouth and Portland ahead of the Games in July. About a thousand military personnel will be involved in this operation, not just out at sea, but also on land in Weymouth and Portland. A handful will be seen by visitors, but the majority will keep themselves ready and waiting should they be needed. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Portland.